In this video, we're going to take a look at SAP's QIMAD methodology. We're going to take a quick overview of it and look at the power that it has. This AD methodology comes standard with the QIM quality issue management functionality. And so what it has in this diagram, it has all the 8D methodology built into the standard 8D issue that's inside issue management. We have D1, the team, D2, problem description, D3, containment action, D4, root cause, D5, permanent corrective action, D6, implement permanent corrective action. So one is to choose it, D6 is to implement it, D7 is the actions to prevent reoccurrence. Once we've done that, D8, congratulate the team for their efforts in correcting the process. And what this diagram is showing here is having the 8D in QIM, we can leverage the integration into the actual materials and cost, like in this example, this customer complaint. We put the delivery number in, and we'll pull in uh, information related to the delivery. We put in the material. It'll pull in information related to the material. So strong integration to help us with the 8D process. And this screen print shows that we will select a specific 8D issue type within QIM which then gives us the 8D options, specific selections within the screen for each of the items within 8D, and then being able to print it on the report, separate it out by each 8D item. So looking at what that looks like within the quality issue management, I am in QIM here inside the SAP QIM quality issue management I have the ways of creating um, issues and I'm going to use the advanced issue to show you how it shows the actual items in there, the 8D items. Once I go in here you see we got the different uh, issue types, customer complaints, internal supplier issues and so on and this is all configurable this is just some examples but as you can see here, we have an 8D problem analysis, and this is standard in QIM. Once I select that, you can see here what it does is actually break out a position for us to enter each of those uh, items within 8D. So my initial overview, I can go in and uh, load some overview information about it. A lot of fields, priority, when to start, end, what's the general description. And then when I'm getting ready to assign the team, I can assign all the different team members in here. They're going to be part of the 8D process. The problem description, now I'm going into much more detail. What is the defect location and code? What's the code we're going to assign to it? And then, of course, more, much more detail at this point. And then what are we going to do to contain, and when do we start, and then when does it need to be done? What new activities we're going to do as part of that containment? We might have to go out to inventory, uh, tag. Another activity might be to change the status of the inventory, uh, hold up shipments. You know, there might be several activities that have to go on. And then once we have time to, once we've done our containment, we have time now to determine what the root cause is. And then uh, once we determine the root cause, the team will determine what is the permanent action, that the corrective action, choose an action, or multiple actions that need to be performed. We may need to get new equipment, new business processes, people train better, whatever the action is, then implement the permanent corrective action so it never happens again. And then to some time out, uh, check to prevent reoccurrence. So actions to ensure that some time out we take a look to make sure everything is still okay. Once we have determined everything is okay, we've correct that process so we'll never have a problem again, we then can congratulate the team on their efforts 
um, in correcting those processes and in, in improving the business. And then down here we have the ability, all through here we can do attachments, but we can also do attachments separately for the overall AD, pull in additional documentation if we need, and then administrative data is who touched the system when, uh, it's our history inside the administrative data. Now you can either come down this way in the AD, or we can set it up uh, by going into this icon and into stackable. So there's, you know, I'm just showing just real basic functionality here. Uh, there's a ton of functionality in the 8D. I'm just, you know, it's just surface just to show you. And then once I did that, the look I had going from top to bottom left to now I'm going left to right. Okay, so that's all a preference. But I just wanted to show a quick look of what 8D looks like and the power. It's, we are excited now. We have that out-of-the-box standard, and we can provide that to customers using SAP QIM 8D.